Welcome back guys, it's Shelby, and today we are going to be testing out drying roses with silica gel. I've never used this before, it's a proper experiment, and we will see how it works. Okay, so I have these beautiful roses, and they are just giant, I don't know if these count as long stem, but they're beautiful roses, they're, they're giant buds. I think maybe I left these just like ideally slightly too long, but I'm used to like drying my roses and taking like fully you know perky alive roses to like stick in silica gel just like hurts my heart like I don't want to dry them too early you know but this is an experiment so um these are too alive to like properly dry on the side of the fridge but I think maybe they'll work for the silica test they are perhaps slightly more droopy than is ideal and slightly wilting and crispy but we're gonna give it a shot I have some scissors to trim the ends with and then I bought this, which is flower drying silica gel on Amazon. You guys know I normally dry my flowers by hanging them up, but I've been seeing a lot of videos on this recently and I wanted to give it a try to see if it's a better method. I've never done it, so this is, this is a test, right? Then you have to get an airtight container to put them in, so I bought this, which is just an airtight pet food container. And I just realized opening it up, it's completely cracked. Don't you just love Amazon? So it's okay, I have some tape. I'm not gonna return it. I probably should for, you know, what you paid for it, but whatever. I'm just gonna seal it up because I figured this plus some duct tape equals airtight container. And that's basically what all the tutorials said we needed. Hopefully you guys won't have to do this, but I was really excited to do this. My roses are already dying and I need this container to work. So we're just gonna do that and we're gonna make it work. And then I'm gonna pull my roses off to the side. These are really beautiful still and not at all wilty. Well, they're a little bit wilty, but not very much. So I'm really hoping that this works out well and I don't have to like lose and sacrifice the roses for no reason. So I'm gonna open this up. And when we're done with all this and we check in on them in two weeks or three weeks, however long it takes for them to dry, then we'll kind of compare them to some of the air dried roses that I've previously done and we can see what we like better. But this really is like the magical product that everybody seems to think it is. I'd be really excited for that. Okay, let's give it a shot. I don't know anything about this, so I'm wearing a mask just in case. Ideally, I will be figuring out how to preserve these roses in resin going forward, which would be pretty awesome, but I don't know how to do that yet, so I'm still looking into like buying a respirator and everything for that. Maybe I should just do this in here. So it says small layer. I also like guessed the size of my bin based on the amount of roses I wanna do. And I chose five pounds of the silica gel and it might not have been enough. Hopefully it is, we will find out. Okay, so that's a pretty intense layer. It's about half my silica gel. Okay, now we're gonna start putting our blooms in there. So I'm gonna cut them about here because that's where I want them. It says you can reattach them afterwards, but we'll see. Oh yeah. All right, so that's not gonna work because this is half my silica gel and all the silica gel will just barely cover that. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go intense, you guys. I'm gonna cut them there, even though I really don't want them that short. And that's what we gotta do to make it fit. I should order more gel, but whatever. This is what we have. The roses are going. I think I'm supposed to leave more of a stem on there than that, but whatever, it's a trial. We're gonna leave the stems off for now. It says you can dry the stems and we're gonna go back in with more silica gel. I'm gonna speed this up because I poured really slowly, but basically get it in and around all the petals and carefully kind of fill up the flowers as best you can to try and get them covered. Right, apparently I need more silica gel too, and I don't have it. So I'm just gonna like improvise and kind of scoop it up over the flowers. Yeah, I know this is really shoddy work, but 
I didn't realize I was gonna run out. And this is what I got. All right. Well, it's not perfect, but it's kind of the best I can do right now. And we're gonna see how it turns out. Obviously, I'm not a pro at this, but maybe it'll work, fingers crossed. I'm gonna seal this up. We're gonna look in on this in like two, three weeks. All right, guys, update time. I had bought and put in this bag on camera and it definitely wasn't enough. So I didn't have any more, I immediately ordered more. It took a few days to get here. I think I filmed on Thursday or Friday or Saturday of last week. I honestly don't know, but this just arrived. It is Monday and hopefully, I haven't peeked, but like hopefully it's not too late to slip it in there. Oh, hey, that actually looks pretty good. So this side over here is what I was really worried about. It definitely feels crunchy. But for the most part, it looks okay, and I'm going to get this in there, cover them, and hopefully not too much damage was done. I think the outside tips of the petals that are in the air dried all crunchy, but like maybe the ones that are hidden inside still look really good and fresh and lovely because of the silica gel. Either way, this is a test figuring out what we're going to do, so we're going to put it in there, and that way we have all of the practice and all of the knowledge for the big time bouquet. That's the whole point of this. At this point, the roses have been in there a while. You know, they're not getting any better. They're in the position that they're going to be in. So I'm just going to dump it in and uh, we'll see how it turns out in a week or so. We definitely have enough now, which is really nice. Um, I don't know, like maybe even another one would fit in this box, but I don't need it to cover these. And this was a fair amount of flowers. Plus if you have a lot of flowers in here, that takes up room too. So I don't think I need to put it on this box and that might be hard to like get it back later. So I don't know, I'll save some in the bag. We will seal that and we will seal this. We'll check it in two weeks. So I have not actually opened this since we put the second bag of silica gel in here. I'm very excited to see what it turned out as. Um, I hate that it's brand new. It, it already looks worse for wear, but whatever. What can you do? So we're going to open it up and hope for good things. So apparently the gel shifted a little bit and it's a little crispy there. Kind of to be expected considering it wasn't completely covered when I did it. So I'm just going to gently pull these out here. Wow, they feel really weird. Whoa, do you see that? So it's super orange up top and it said that's how you know it's like drying and if it ever gets like pale you have to like cook it and make it ready to absorb again. But like all this white stuff just like dropped out of the rose and I'm guessing that means that's like full of moisture from the rose and that's really cool. So we're just going to like shake this off a little bit. You hear it rattling? I think I need to like use a brush to dust it off, but that's really beautiful. Honestly, I'm really quite impressed by that. That's gorgeous. I love the shape of it. Um, I'm not going to pay attention to the edges of the leaves because I know those were out of the gel because I ran out the first time when I put these in here with the first bag. I had to order more and it took like a week to get here. Not a week, like three days. That's gorgeous. So let me pull out just like a normal air dried flower just for comparison. So here is a typical rose that I have air dried. Um, this is one of the better examples, obviously. I've got some squished ones, um, but this is like one of the better ones because I feel like that's fair. Like you can't compare it to a bad air dried one and say it's so much better, that's not fair. As far as looks, I mean this one, yes, it's slightly more broken, but also like it's been my base for a while. So like I'm guessing I did that later. And these are crispy. The actual petals don't look super different. Oh, I'm not even on camera. Sorry about that. So as far as like the looks of them, you know, like the actual petals don't look much different. This one looks dry. This one looks dry. Um, I'm going to pull another rose out and we can compare more because like one is not a sample group. I should put something on here because I don't have my like brushes or anything to dry this off. But um, I also don't have another case to pour the silica gel in. So I'm just going to scoop around with my hands till I find stuff. Oh, I found petals. 
Okay, well, that's unexpected. Beautiful though. Still feels dry, still feels crispy. Excellent color retention. There's another one down here. I don't remember if I did single or double layers with the roses, so we will find out as we dig in here. It's kind of fun to see all of the light colored silica drop though. This one got completely bashed up. Look at that. So based on what I've watched on YouTube, I 100% did this and smashed it when I put the silica in there and then it dries exactly how you did it. So this one apparently I just like nailed 100% and this one is a little worse for wear, but the color brilliancy is beautiful. I think I just ripped that leaf out on accident. I would not say they are retaining, you know, any moisture. They're very dry. Oops. Um, and they are just as brittle as air dried roses. I kind of thought that like one of the perks of doing it in silica gel is that they're not as brittle. They're 100% as brittle, but the color is beautiful. The color is so vibrant for comparison. This is a bright red rose or deep red rose, however you want to call it. And this was also a deep red rose that I dried. The color is a little bit more brilliant from the silica. I will give them that. This is a recently dried rose of the last couple months, so it hasn't um, kind of lost its color at all. One thing is you'll notice down here is, is kind of brown. And on these, the stem is very, very green. So that's interesting. The color retention is what I would say is the major key benefit of this. Uh, this is one that I sprayed with the um, hairspray and I can still see it because it still has like that weird residue on it. I'm not gonna lie, I still don't love that. I'm probably not gonna spray it on any more of my roses, but as far as the way they look, not, I don't know if I can do this, it's a really long stem. Not a huge difference other than the color retention. As far as the crispiness of the petals, exactly the same, but we're gonna pull the rest out and take a look. You can hear it like deep inside the petal. That's gonna take forever to get out. At least I know it's dry. Other than manually holding them upside down and shaking them, I don't really know how to get it out. You could use a brush to get it off the outer petals, but how do you get it out of the inner petals? Like, I have no idea. Just tap it forever, I guess. It's not really a great system, but it's what I get. All right, I think I'm good. I'm just gonna close this up and put it off to the side till I need it again, because what else am I gonna do with it? Let's take a look at what we got. Now I know that these aren't perfect. I dried them probably slightly later than I should have. They were already starting to wilt a little bit. I did that because I haven't used the silica gel before and I didn't want to waste beautiful fresh roses on something that might not work. So that being said, they were already drying out a little bit before. I didn't realize that I didn't have enough silica gel. So when I submerged them, like parts of their petals were still sticking out. I had to buy more silica gel and put it in later. Um, all that being said, and obviously like varying degrees of success of actually packing them correctly. But all that being said, um, I think it turned out pretty well. As far as comparing it to another rose, let's just use this one because it's out. Um, I don't know. I will probably use the silica gel method, but honestly, I will probably dry them out too. The benefit of the silica gel one is like technically I'm in charge of the way they're shaped. Obviously I didn't do a great job on this one, but when they're hanging upside down, like you don't have a huge amount of control over what they look like. Generally speaking, they turn out pretty round, but if they're flat against the fridge on the back, sometimes I do get some flat ones. I'll show you one of those like this one right here. Like you can see one side of it's flat. It was laying against the fridge because um, I hung it up like that and it flattened on one side. And you have the opportunity in the silica gel to not do that. It's kind of up to you to how you pack it and how it looks. The color retention is fabulous. I do feel like I lost a lot of petals with it, but also like, I don't know if you can tell, like the color richness is beautiful. And on the backs of the leaves, like that's green. That's stunning. That's, that's really hard to capture when you dry them. Like you kind of get what you get and it mainly turns brown but I am really impressed with the color retention. They dried in about the same amount of time. I left mine for two weeks. That's about 
the minimum I would leave them on the fridge. I usually leave them for closer to a month, if not longer, just to be sure. Um, but then I'm putting them in vases where they're in the air anyway, so it's not a huge deal on that front either. But I don't know. I'm pretty impressed. It is it is difficult to get the silica gel out of there. You can still see it like in there, and I don't know if I need a brush or just to shake them or what. So that's kind of annoying. But I don't know. I'm definitely going to try it again. I'm definitely going to like give it another shot, see if I can get better at it because like the color retention is beautiful. Um, and I think, I think this could be something that works really well if I figure out how to best do it. And I'm excited for the crafts that uh, can come from there. So thank you so much for watching. I know this was just like a trial and error video, but if you haven't used silica gel before, hopefully this shines some light on the process. And I will uh, see you guys again soon.